하나님은 영이시니 예배하는 자가 영과 진리로 예배할지니라 신앙 고백합니다. 전능하사 천지를 만드신 하나님 아버지를 내가 믿사오며 그 외아들 우리 주 예수 그리스도를 믿사오니 이는 성령으로 잉태하사 동정녀 마리아에게 나시고 본디오 빌라도에게 고난을 받사 십자가에 못 박혀 죽으시고 장사한 지 사흘 만에 죽은 자 가운데서 다시 살아나시며 하늘 오르사 전능하신 하나님 우편에 앉아 계시다가 들으로서 산자와 죽은 자를 심판하러 오시리라. 성령을 믿사오며 거룩한 공예와 성도가 서로 교통하는 것과 죄를 사여 주시는 것과 몸이 다시 사는 것과 영원히 사는 것을 믿사옵나이다. 아멘. 찬송가 542장입니다. 대표에서 김건우 안수자님 기도해 주시겠습니다. 우리를 구원하시고 보좌의 축복 속으로 누리는 예배로 불러 모아주신 하나님 아버지 크신 사랑과 은혜에 참 감사를 드립니다. 올 한해 그땅 24로 성취될 언약의 말씀을 주시고 시공간 초월의 응답을 기도로 누리며 그 언약의 여정의 길을 걷게 하시고 또 함께 걷고 계신 주님을 찬양합니다. 그길 가운데 만남의 축복 속 함께 이곳에서 예배드리며 2, 3, 7 살릴 빛의 증거를 찾는 은혜의 시간이 되게 예배를 베풀어 주시오며 성령께서 인도해 주옵소서 이를 위해 앞서 세우신 당의장 목사님께 오력과 성령 충만을 더입혀 주사 하나님의 말씀으로 대응케 하시고 받는 이에게는 정확한 복음으로 내 안에 심어 놓으신 하나님의 형상과 
내 영혼 에덴의 축복이 살아나는 시간이 되게 복을 내려 주시옵소서 올로 목사님에게 강건함과 성령 충만 오력을 다하시고 복역자 중직자 랜넌트에게 동일한 은혜 베푸시사 제자를 남기며 후대가 후대에게 전달자로 서게 하는 큰 역사 보게 하옵소서 전무후만 응답으로 전도와 성교만으로 훗날에 기억될 교회로 이 지역과 민족 살리고 후대와 치유 세계보고마에 쓰임받는 교회가 되게 하나교회를 축복해 주시옵소서 오는 장로 수련회를 통해 오직 복음으로 하나가 되는 시간이 되게 하시며 합력하여 선을 이루는 하나님의 선한 계획이 그 안에 있기를 원하고 바랍니다. 하나님 나라가 임하며 세밀하게 인도하시는 시간이 되게 축복해 주시옵소서. 세계 2, 3, 7 현장 빛 비추는 미디어 시스템으로 준비하신 하나님 아버지께 참으로 감사를 드립니다. 특별히 중남미 현장의 카톨릭 그 배경 안에도 예수 그리스도 오직 복음의 빛을 비추는 미디어 시스템이 되게 하시고 더불어 성교사님과 전도자를 통해 그 지역과 민족에게 허감이 떠나가고 천국복음이 증거되어 교회가 세워지고 제자가 남는 하나님의 그 역사를 보게 하옵소서 어려운 가운데 있는 성도들 주님의 계획을 보며 더욱 감사로 기도로 언약길을 따라가게 하시오고 증인되게 하시옵소서 찬양대를 통하여 울리는 찬양이 정말로 천군천사를 대동해 함께 찬양하고 예배를 방향하는 허감이 떠나가며 온 마음 다해 기도로 준비하게 하시오며 하나님 홀로 최고 영광 받아 주시옵소서 말씀 받는 시간입니다 하나님의 말씀이 흥황한 축복 누리는 시간이 되게 인도해 주시옵소서 우리를 사랑하사 구원하신 예수 그리스도 이름으로 기도합니다 아멘
아, 감사합니다. Thank you very much. 게 우리가 병이 들면 어, 의사도 또 가족도 우리 많이 도와줍니다. When we get ill and get sick, many of the physicians and our family members come to our support. 예, 그러나 어, 죽을 병이 걸리면 도울 자가 없어요. But if we are diagnosed with a terminal illness, there's nobody who can help us. 어, 그 누구도 도울 수가 없는 겁니다. Nobody can provide their support for us at that time. 그러니까 어, 포기를 하게 되죠. And because nobody can come to our aid, that's why naturally people give up. 어, 누구나 한 번은 가는 거지만은 어, 하나님이 나와 함께 하시는 그 힘을 가지고 가는 거하고 포기인 거하고는 다르죠. And everybody is destined to face death once in their lifetime, but it's a difference. It's different between when you just give up and when you really hold on to the fact that God is with you when you leave. 또, 걸리면, 어, and if you are diagnosed with a terminal illness, there's nobody who can help you with that. 오늘 예수님께서 베세다에 도착했는데 맹인이 나타나서 살려달라고 기도하는 겁니다. Today we see that Jesus arrives in Bethsaida and he meets with a blind man who asks for his help. 예, 눈을 보지 못하는 맹인이니까 그 누구도 고쳐줄 수가 없어요. And because he's blind, he has a visual impairment. There's nobody who can help him. Bethsaida 이 말은 어부의 집, 어부 마을 이런 뜻입니다. And the word Bethsaida means village of the fishermen. 그래 분들 이 사람에게 아무 도움이 안 되는 거예요. But despite all of that, there's nobody who can help this man. 그 원래 이름은 에, 모르겠습니다만은 로마 황제 부인은 이, 이름을 따서 어, 베세다라 그렇게 지었다고 합니다. And we don't know the original name of this village, but it actually took the name from the wife of a Roman emperor. 그렇다면 뭐 굉장히 이유 있는 지역이죠. And that means that there is great significance to this region of Bethsaida. 또 여러분 아시다시피 베드로, 안드레, 빌립 이 사람의 고향입니다. And this is also the hometown of Peter, Andrew, and Philip. 여러분들 아시다시피 오병 이어를 가지고 오천 명 먹인 남긴 적이 있잖아요. 그게 베세다입니다. And there was also a case where Jesus fed five thousand people with five loaves of bread and two fish, and that also happened in the region of Bethsaida. 그러나 앞을 볼수 없는 이 맹인에게는 아무 도움이 되지 않는 겁니다. And yet, all these things that had happened for this blind man was of no help whatsoever. 이때 어, 이 맹인이 이름도 나와 있지 않습니다. 얼마나 힘들겠어 안 보이는데 그리스도께서 베스다에 도착했다는 시간을 맞춰서 거기 와서 어, 무릎을 꿇은 겁니다. And we see that in this passage, the name of this blind man is not even recorded. He hears the news that Jesus is coming to this village of Bethsaida, and though as difficult as it must have been for him, he makes his way to him to ask him to help him. 어, 중요한 것은 나는 볼수 없는 사람이다 라고 포기한 게 아니에요. 그리스도께서 오시는 그 시간과 마주 얼마나 힘든 일인가 사실 크게 나타난 겁니다. What's important is that he did not give up simply by the fact that he was blind and nobody could help him. How difficult must have been for him to make that time to go and meet with Jesus exactly when he was arriving to that village. 오늘 혹시 병든 분들 오늘 중요한 답을 찾는 날이 되길 바랍니다. May all of those who are sick, who are ill, discover a very important answer today. 아, 내가 이제 또 문제 있다. If you are faced with an important problem, may this be the day in which you discover a very important answer to that problem. 정말 중요한 순간에는 세상 것이 답이 되지 않습니다. In the most critical moment, we see that nothing of the world can become an answer for you. 요셉이 노예로 팔려가는데 도울 사람이 없어요. Joseph was sold as a slave, and there was nobody who could support him or help him. 여러분 아시다시피. 그 무슨 그 무시무시한 그런 누명을 쓰고 감옥에 들어간 겁니다. As you know very well, he was accused, falsely accused on very frightening charges, and he was imprisoned. 그 누구도 요셉을 도울 수 없어. And there was no one who could help Joseph. 요셉이 그걸 잘 알아낸 겁니다. And Joseph knew that all too well. 나는 지금 이런 큰 어려움 속에 지금 감옥에 들어왔지만은 나를 도울 수 있는 사람은 없다 하는 걸 알아낸 겁니다. He realized that though I'm imprisoned right now on these charges, there's nobody who can come to help me. 그게 굉장히 중요한 겁니다. That's very important. 낙심해야 될 이유도 되지만은 아닙니다. It may become a reason for dismay, but at the same time, it is not. 제일 좋은 시간표를 만들 수 있습니다. You can make that into the best time schedule of all. 여러분이 너무나 불가능한 해결할 수 없는 어려움이 왔을 때 낙심할 이유 됩니다. 
When you are faced with a difficulty that is impossible, that you cannot do anything to try to address, it can become a reason for your dismay. 그러나 생에 정말 가장 가치 있는 거 찾아낼 수 있습니다. But it can also become the most important time in which you discover what is most precious in your lives. Yeah, 많은 사람들이 알지 못하고 있다가 에, 마지막에 큰 어려움 속에 죽어가죠. 여러분 이걸 찾는 시간이 되어야 돼요. There are too many people who don't realize this, and instead they face tremendous suffering at the end of their lives. You must discover this today. 에, 최고 응답을 누린 다윗도 마찬가지잖아요. It was the same for for David, who was able to enjoy the greatest answer of all. There was nobody who could help him. Yeah, 그걸 빨리 캐치해야 됩니다. 도움이 될 수가 없어요. You must realize that quickly. Nothing can be of help to you. 미국에 알렉산더 로이드라는 사람이 있습니다. There is a person by the name of Alexander Lloyd in America. 자 이분이 목사입니다. And this person is a pastor. 그런데 but Reverend Lloyd could not carry out his ministry. 이제 부인이 이제 우울증이 걸려가지고 심심하면 화를 내는 거예요. His wife was diagnosed with depression, and she would continue to rise up in anger. 그럼 막 고함치고 말. She would scream out and shriek. 뭐 어떨 때는 막 발작하고. And at times she would even have some sort of epileptic seizure. 끊임없이. Constantly, all the time. And then she would continue to go up, have her ups and downs. She would get better, and then again she would fall back into that kind of difficulty. Then how can he carry out his pastoral ministry? And whenever her depression surged up and she began to have these seizures, she would continue to accuse him that this is all his fault. And this pastor had nothing to say in response because it's true that they were living together. And this disease is a severe one. 아무리, 아무리 그 no matter how many good clinics they went to visit, it, would not, it could not be resolved. 뭐 and so her condition would stabilize, but again she would surge up again with that kind of uh, seizure and depression, and it continued to repeat that pattern. And then in the course of that, they had two children. And then when their children were growing up, because of their mother, they also were very insecure. And simply put, it was their home was just like hell on earth because whenever she her depression got the best of her, she would even try to take her own life. To the point where she would cut herself and she would be bleeding. There was nothing this pastor didn't attempt. They went to see psychologists, to psychiatrists, they did everything they could. For the very first time, this pastor began to genuinely pray before God. This actually happened. And a tremendous grace of God came upon him. And and he began to share the answers he had received with his wife, and this kind of impossible healing took place for her. And if you look at their biographical accounts, uh, after he began to share this, these answers with her, she had one other seizure, but after that, for eight years, it all came to a stop. And because there are so many people suffering uh, from depression, this pastor and his wife began to go around to meet with those people to help them and for them to receive healing. 
and they began to share exactly what they themselves had experienced and great works of healing arose for people. 여러분 그런 사람 많지 않습니까? 그 날이 갈수록 앞으로 많아지거든요. 그런 사람들이 막 어떨 때는 막 사고도 내고 막 살인도 하고 그렇게 한단 말이에요. There are a lot of people like that, and as days go by, the numbers will only increase. Those are the people who are behind a lot of these mishaps and incidents, a lot of murder cases as well. 그렇게 해서 지금 미국 50개 주에다가 너무 그런 사람이 많으니까 치유하는 그런 장소를 센터를 만드는 거예요. And because there are so many people who are in dire need of this kind of healing, they actually raised up um, these kinds of healing centers in all, sta- all the 50 states of the United States. 뭐 그런 사람이 많으니까 점점점 퍼지니까 이제 90개 나라에 에, 세워봐요. And they even took their ministry internationally because there are so many people who are suffering these kinds of ailments. They established these centers in 90 countries. 그 목사 이 뭐, 부부가 이제 한번 모자라니까 한 200명 정도 그런 And because it, because it wasn't enough with just two of them, the pastor and his wife, they employed 200 of these coaches who could support this ministry. And I never had the opportunity to meet with uh, Reverend Alexander Lloyd, but I read about him in a book. Faith is such a simple matter, and we see that the things that he's doing, it's not wrong. Healing can arise through that kind of ministry. This is what he finally discovered after so many attempts and so, many, so much effort at, at trying to resolve the dire straits that he and his wife were experiencing. And I think that it's something that the three organizations made, but there is a medical device that helps you to take stock of how much stress you're receiving in your physical body. And then pray just a little bit to see what happens, and you can actually see the numbers decrease. And then try this and try to restore your gratitude and thanksgiving and see what happens. And again, the numbers in that stress meter begin to. 그거 아무것도 아닌데 사람들이 안 보고 안 믿거든요. 그 보면서 이게 보통 사람이면 오륙 십일 만에 치워대고. It's nothing at all, but because now they can visibly see with their eyes, it actually has an effect on these people. In just fifty or sixty days, they began to see the effects of that. 그러면서 이 사람이 자꾸 이제 기도를 하는 거예요. And with that, this person continues to emphasize prayer. 그렇죠. 이제 믿고 기도하니까. Now, they, because they see the numbers themselves, they can believe and have faith in prayer. 네, If you truly believe this without seeing, you don't need that kind of device. 오늘 여러분이요, 믿고 기도한다면. Today, if you believe and pray, this time of worship becomes an amazing time for you. 쉽게 말하면은 우리에게는요, 막 각종 틀린 거, 쓰레기들, 뭐 사단이 준거 꽉 들어 있는 거요. In other words, we are completely filled to the brim with all the incorrect things, rubbish, things that Satan brings to us. 각종 오해, 상처, 뭐 경험 막 들어 있는 거요. All sorts of misunderstandings and scars and all of our wrong experiences are all fill, filling us. 누가 책임도 없습니다. 학교에서 배운 거, 책에서 들은 거, 많은 지식들이 틀린 거 많거든요. 전부 들어 있는 거요. And there isn't one sole person who is responsible for all the wrong things that are inside of us. It's what we've been taught at school, what we read through books, what we've experienced ourselves. It's all the wrong things. 더 문제는 이 사단이 준 흑암새들 모르잖아요. 이게 막 가득 들어 있는 거예요. The bigger problem is the force of darkness that Satan brings to us. That we are completely oblivious about, but we are completely filled to the brim with those things. 그리고 쉽게 말하면 그걸 이 목사가 보여준 거예요. And it's exactly these things that this pastor happened to show. 분노를 놀린 거죠. 와 그렇구나. And when people actually saw a visual representation of that, they realized that's in fact true. 그렇게 닦고 말해 뭐몇 십일 기도했는데 실제로. After realizing that, they just prayed for a few days, and with that, actually the works began to arise. 간단한 얘기입니다, 사실은. It's a very simple matter if you think about it. 저는 이걸요 체험했거든요. But I experienced this myself. 저는 한 40년 동안에 이걸 내 공부해 봤어요. I've really delved into this matter for the past 40 years. 전도 현장하는 거 아픈 사람이 너무 많은 거예요. Why? Because you go into the evangelist field, and there are so many people who are sick. 어떻게 이 사람을 도와줘야 됩니까? 제일 뭐 성경에 보면 치유했잖아요. How can we help these people? You look in the Bible, and those people received healing. 어 저는 병들어 본 적은 없어요. 
I myself have never fallen sick. 근데 제게 있는 가장 큰 병이 뭔 거니까 능력이 없는 거예요, 제가. But my greatest illness of all was my powerlessness. 이거 보통 병 아니잖아요. And that's not your small problem. 불신자 살려야 되는데 불신자보다 능력이 없어요. I need to go out and save unbelievers, and yet I am less capable than even the unbeliever. 아니 내가 이웃을 살려야 되는데 이웃보다 능력이 없다니까 내가. No? I need to save my neighbors, and yet I'm even more powerless than my neighbors. 아 교회 가서 일을 해봤지만은 일이 안 돼. I go and run errands in the church, but I can't carry out that kind of work. One day, in a very simple way, I discovered this. It's so simple. 하나님의 것이 내 속에 없다는 걸 알았어요. I discovered that I don't have the things of God inside of me. 복음의 능력으로 하나님의 것이 내게 임해야 되는데 그게 없다는 걸 내가 알았다니까. The things of God need to come upon me through the power of the gospel, but that's exactly what I lacked. 사실은 사람들에게는 말안 했지만은 다른 거, 틀린 거, 세상 거, 욕심, 내 거, 가득 들어 있어. I never confessed this before people, but in fact, I was filled abundantly so with the wrong things, my things, the incorrect things, the falsehoods, all of my wrong experiences, all my actions. 당연히 안 되겠죠. Then of course the works cannot arise. 나는 전도사도요. 전도사를 좀 했는데 처음에 이상하게 했다니까 전도사를. And I served as an assistant pastor, but I carried out ministry in a very strange way. 내가 이 이거 잘하면. 굉장히 유익하겠지. 이런 식이었어 내, 내 머리가요. The kind of mentality that I had was if I do this well, I'm sure that this will become very profitable for me. 뭐 유익합니까? 그럼 별 대책 그 답도 없어요. But if you proceed that way, there's no alternative. There's no countermeasure against that kind of thinking. 그러니까 나의 모든 기준이 사람이야. So my entire standard lied upon people. 이렇게 하면 뭐 이렇게 위에 사람이 좋아하겠지. 이렇게 하면 뭐 장로님들이 좋아하겠지. 이렇게 하면 사람들이 좋아하겠지. If I do this, then my employers, the elders, all the people around me will look favorably, favorably upon me. 여기 내 수준이었어요. That was my standard. 부끄럽더라고요. And how shameful was it? 네 같은 놈이 아이들 가르치니까 아이들이 변화가 되겠냐? I thought to myself, because a person like you is teaching these children, how can these children see any change? 내게 하나님의 것이 없다는 걸 알았어요. I discovered that I completely lack the things of God inside of me. 진짜입니다. Really. 그그 빼기 나는 깨달은 게 없어요. That's the only thing that I realized. 하나님의 백성들이 교회 오는데 내 것이나 세상 것이 도움이 되겠냐 말이요. 하나님 것을 줘야 되는 내가 없어요. The people of God come to church. How can I try to help them with my things or the things of the world, and yet I lack the things of God inside of me? 정말입니다. 전혀 어렵죠. 나 그거 깨닫고 기도 시작한 겁니다. That was in fact true. I just realized that very simple matter. 하나님 앞에 기도만 해서 그거 깨닫고요. After realizing that, all I did was pray. 그때가 약한 35년 전이에요. And that was approximately 35 years ago. 내 혼자서요. 아침 새벽 시간 누가 못 먹으니까 내 혼자서 교회에서 새벽 기도 마치고 기도한 겁니다. And every morning, in the early morning, because nobody could disturb me at that time, after early morning worship, I prayed by myself. 하나님 나에게 복음의 능력을 주십시오. God, grant me the power of the gospel. 나에게 하나님의 능력을 주십시오. Give me your power, Lord. 그거라야 내가 성도님들을 섬기고 그거라야 교회를 섬기지 다른 걸 내가 어떻게 교회를 섬깁니까? Because only with that can I serve the believers and can I serve my church. With other things, how can I begin to serve the church? 내 주위와 환경은 전혀 나를 도울 수 없습니다. My surroundings, my environment, there was nothing there that could help me. 솔직히 기도했다니까요. I prayed honestly before God. 하나님 저를 정말 좀이 일을 잘할 수 있는 교회로 보내주십시오. God sent me to a church where I can carry out this work well. 한 40일 정도 하고 나니까 응답이 오는데 어떤 응답이 오느냐. 네 생각이 참 잘못됐다는 거예요. I prayed for about 40 days and I came to realize this thinking in my heart, your thinking is wrong. 그렇습니다. That's right. 깨달았어요. I realized that. 하나님, 좋은데 말고 내가 여기서 하나님이 원하시는 건 뭡니까? God, I realized my error, my, my error and I thought to myself, Lord, don't send me to a good place. Help me to discover your will here in this place. 그때에 제 생에 평생을 누릴 만한 응답이 왔어요. And it was then that I received the greatest answer of my entire lifetime that I can enjoy all life long. 
교회 안에, 교회 안에 일어나고 있는 이 허감을 막, 막아야 되는데 교육자들이 있다고 하면서 말이요 기도 운동, 전도 운동을 못 일으켜서 이 교회가 이 모양이 됐구나 말이요 I discovered that we need to block the forces of darkness that are trying to plow into the church. We have our ministers and pastors, and yet because they cannot carry out the prayer and evangelism movement, we cannot realize this inside of the church. 오래된 신앙인들도요, 교회 안에 허감의 바람에는 막 그대로 무너져요. And long-time believers, when the forces of darkness began to sweep into the church, they were completely swept away by that. 그때 제가 담임 목사님께 제시를 한 겁니다. And at that time, I proposed this to my senior pastor. 목사님, 교회는 하나님의 백성이 모이기 때문에 좋은 사람들 많이 있습니다. I said, Pastor, the church is a gathering of the people of God, and so there are a lot of good people here. 제가 정말 기도하고 전도 운동을 하겠습니다. In prayer, I will truly carry out the evangelism movement. 교회 광고에서 전도 학교를 만들어서 전도 운동 하고 싶은 사람 오도록 허락해 주시면 제가 하겠습니다. If you approve of my plan to make an advancement of the church so that we can open an evangelism school so that all those who want to evangelize can gather together, that's what I will try to do. That was my sincere heart. And that became the initial start of the evangelism school to evangelize the entire world that's continuing even today. God completely transformed me as powerless as I I really was powerless. Those who knew me early on, they know my state of powerlessness. I, how can I begin to even speak about evangelism, even the things that were around me in place? But God changed me. It's not what I've done. I did not have the things of God inside of me. I was filled with the wrong things and the things of the world. But it's a simple matter. Today, the first point, this blind man who met with Jesus, who met with Jesus his spiritual DNA completely changed. That's the first point, and yes, it is possible. And we don't know how he made his way to Jesus, but it says in verse 22, he makes his way before Jesus and begs him to touch him. Simply put, do you think that he didn't attempt any other things? He probably tried everything he could, but he threw all that aside. 여러분, 소경이 예수님을 찾아온다는 건 힘든 일이에요. It is a most difficult thing for a blind man to make his way to Jesus. 예수님께서 오늘 이십한 절에 보니까 손을 잡고 밖으로 따로 데리고 나가죠. And if you see in verse 23, it says that he took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the village. 그리고 뭡니까? 눈에 침을 바르고 안수했다고 돼 있어. And it says that he had spit on his eyes and laid his hands on him. Jesus asks, do you see anything? And he responds, I see people, but they look like trees walking. And in verse 25, it reads that Jesus again laid his hands on his eyes. It's the same principle. 하나님의 능력이 우리에게 각인될 때 완전히 뒤집어지는 겁니다. When we are imprinted with the power of God, that's when we are completely transformed. 이 사람이 비록 눈으로 볼수 없지만은 내가 예수님께 가면 내 눈은 뜰 것이다. Though this man was visually impaired, he believed that if he made his way before Jesus, he would be able to open his eyes and regain his sight. 예수님께서 만져 주시면 나는 치유될 거다. He believed that if Jesus touches him, that he could be healed. 거기에 대한 확신을 가진 거예요. He had clear conviction of that. 이걸 보고 CVDIP라고 합니다. That is what we refer to as a CVDIP. 가져야 돼요. You need to possess that. 쉽게 말하게 이걸 보고 응답의 그림이라고 합니다. And this is what we call that picture, of the image of answer. 오늘부터 해보세요. Begin this starting today. 여러분이 정말 불신앙 쓰레기 같은 거 자꾸 자꾸 버리세요. 우리 자꾸 쓰레기 넣어 주잖아요. 버리고 하나님의 신의 언약으로 그림을 다 그리면서 기도하라 이 말이에요. Discard all that rubbish that you filled yourself with, all the wrong things. Discard all of that and get rid of it, and instead fill yourself with this and have that spiritual image in your mind. 
and pray. 완전히 26절에 보니까 이 눈이 떠 있는데 마을로 들어가지 말고 바로 집으로 가라 이랬잖아요. 그 무슨 말입니까? And in verse 26 he is healed and we see Jesus sends him not back to the village but he returns him back to his home. 보좌의 능력이 너에게 완전히 임하도록 사람 말 듣지 마라 그 말이에요. What does that mean? Don't listen to the words of other people so that you can be completely imprinted with the mystery of the throne. 여러분이 이 체험을 해야 되는 겁니다. You need to experience this. 그렇죠. Isn't that so? 하나님이 나의 몸에 생각 속에 모든 쓰레기를 바꾸고요. 하나님의 능력으로 역사한 이 체험을 해보면 반드시 바뀌는 거예요. If you experience God completely getting rid of all the rubbish inside of your physical body, inside of your hearts and your minds, then you'll be completely transformed as a result. 예, 많은 사람 얘기 어렵지만은요. 여러분들은 지금 기도로 가능한 겁니다. 정말 믿어지면요. For many, this is difficult, but for you, it is possible if you believe this and if you pray. 그 목사가 하는 그걸 잠깐 이 우울증한 자가 그 아무도 못그 우울증한 자를 이 사람 그 믿고 따라했더니 바뀌어 버린 거예요. We see that there are people with depression. Nobody could heal them, and yet this pastor, all he did was he attempted what he himself had experienced, and they began to be healed. It doesn't just end there. What is the second point? The disciples who witnessed this now began to completely save the field of Israel. A representative example of this is Acts 3. Peter is not the Peter that we know. He sees a man, a crippled man from This is not the Peter that we know. He sees a man, a crippled man from birth, sitting before the temple gates. This is the third hour of prayer. This is the third hour of prayer. He constantly had seen this crippled man whenever he went to pray. You need to understand this very well. It's the hour of prayer, the ninth hour. Whenever he went to pray, he saw this crippled man. And then a short time schedule came. This is what Peter says. Peter says, John, It says uh, that Peter, together with John, that they looked intently at the man. In Greek, anoetos, it means that he directed his gaze at him and looked intently at him. And then he says, It says, silver or gold I do not have. 내게 있는 건 네게 주노니 나사렛 예수 그리스도 이름나 걸으라 말해. But what I have, I give to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. 이 안전뱅이 영혼 속에 몸 속에 마음 속에 이 말씀이 완전히 전달된 거예요. And this word was completely conveyed inside of the physical body, the soul and spirit, and the mind of this crippled man. 여러분 세상 사람들이 알지 못하는 역사 뒤집어진 거예요. And this works arose that the people of the world could not understand or even fathom. 아, 이렇게 누가 보내준 자료를 보니까요. 여러분도 보시겠습니다만은 어떤 사람이 동경을 한 번만 딱 쳐다보고 와서 그대로 다 그리는 거예요. And a few days ago, I happened to see a, a video clip that somebody had sent to me. And this person just went and looked at the city of Tokyo. And in just a few minutes, would come back and completely draw it. Exactly. This person is a genius, is he not? And all the cars that had passed by, he even recorded all the license plate numbers. He just saw it once. How is this even possible? So when she was young, she just happened to sit at the piano once, but at the age of 12, again, tried to play the piano and became a world-renowned pianist. This person, again, another person, nine years old, and they began when they were nine, and they are now crafting these world-class pieces. And so I was looking at the commonality between these people that was introduced in this media clip, and it said they had Asperger's syndrome. They, they were autistic. And I found that very understandable. Do you know why? Because 
Because they are completely cut off from all people and all of society. 그러니까 하나만 쳐다본 거예요. So they can only focus on one thing. 이게요 하나님 주신 어마어마한 능력들이 변하고 있어요. And with that, a tremendous power comes upon 그렇구나. us, and we are able to utilize that to our advantage. 그 말을 약간 한 바꿔 보세요. So now change that just a little bit and adjust it to your needs. 우리가 세상에 많은 거, 사람 많은 거 무시한다는 말 아니죠. 그 말이 내 속에 들어오지 않고 정말 하나님의 능력이 집중한다면 얼마인가 역사에 나쁠 거예요. This doesn't mean that we will look down on or ignore the things of the world or other people, but if we were to focus not on those things but only on the power of God, what kind of things would arise for us? 과학입니다. And so this is all science. 영적 과학이요. It's a spiritual science. Alexander Lloyd 목사 행계. And what Reverend Alexander Lloyd did, it was very scientific. Nazareth, Jesus, 이름을 일어나 걸으라고 말인데요. 그게 과학적인 거예요. Peter said in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk, and even that is scientific. 우리가 절대 안 죽고 여기서 오래 살 거냐 그 말은 아닙니다. 그러나 하나님의 능력이 나와 함께하는 이 축복을 가지고 살든 죽든 해야 된다 그 말이요. Does that mean that we will never die? That we will live? Forever, that's not what I'm trying to emphasize. Whether we live or die, however, we must do so with the power of God. And it goes beyond that. We see that this same power of God is now manifested upon the church officers. Simply put, it's conveyed to our elders, simply put. These elders are the people who are inside of the field. And here, astounding works arise. What is that? Samaria. Samaria. Believe이라고 하는 중직자가 사마리아를 갔는데 중풍들 걸리고 막 완전히 몸도 쓰지 못하는 귀신 들린 자들이 있은 거예요. A church officer by the name of Philip went to Samaria, and there are people with epileptic seizures, people who are demon possessed. 여기 중요한 단어가 하나 나와요. And you see a very important word recorded here. Believe이 그들에게 일심으로 말하고 일심으로 들었다 그랬어. It says with one heart, Philip continued to speak to them, and Philip listened to, intently to their words. 여기서 역사를 난 거예요. And from here, the works arose. 베드로가 안전베기를 주목하여 바라봤다. 여기서 역사를 난 거예요. It says that Peter fixed his attention on this crippled man, and that's when the works arose. 사람들은 자폐하라고 무시했는데요. 선생님도 무시하고 자폐하라고 무시했는데 이 친구가 말이요. 아무도 집중해 보고 그 역사를 난 거예요. People, even their own school teachers, looked down on them because they were autistic, and yet the student continued to fix their attention on one thing. 하나님이 우리에게 주신 능력은 어마어마하게 저장돼 있다는 걸 아셔야 돼요. And the works arose. You must realize that we store inside of us the tremendous power of God. 기도가 뭔걸 알아야 돼요. You need to know what prayer is. 우리 렘넌더들이 복음 모르고 기도 모르는데 밖에 나가서 어떻게 이깁니까? 여러분이 복음이 뭔지 알고 기도가 뭔지 알아 그들을 정복하는 겁니다. If the remnants don't know what the gospel is or what prayer is, how can they survive in the world? You need to know what the gospel is. You need to know what prayer is in order for you to conquer everything in the world. 아니 이 능력이 없이 우리 청년들이 밖에 나가 사업한다 보면 우리 Let's say that without this power, our young adults go out and carry out their business and their work inside of society. To some extent, you can carry out your work by your abilities, but one day you will face your own limitation. 그러면 그들을 살릴 수가 없잖아요. Then you cannot save the people in the field. 오늘 여러분 이 언약 굳게 잡으셔야 됩니다. Today you must firmly hold on to this covenant. 예수 그리스도를 만났는데 무조건이 아닙니다. 굉장히 중요한 하나님의 조건으로 바뀌어 버린 거예요. You meet with Jesus Christ. It's not unconditionally. By the very important condition of God, you are transformed. 오늘 여러분의 믿음과 기도로 영적 DNA를 바꿀 수 있다. Today, by your faith and by your prayers, you can change your spiritual DNA. 오늘 여러분의 기도로 여러분의 몸에 생각 영혼 속에 있는 모든 쓰레기를 하나님의 것으로 바꿀 수 있다. Today, inside of prayer, you can change all the rubbish inside of your physical bodies, in your souls and spirits, in your mind, into the power of God. 바뀌어야만 역사를 나요. And only when that changes can the works arise. 결론 맺겠습니다. I will come to the conclusion. 하나님이 어떤 교회를 필요하실까요? What kind of church does God need? 베세다 운동하는 교회입니다. A church that carries out the Bethesda movement. 그러면 응답 저절로 옵니다. Then if that's carried out, the answers will naturally come. 그 교회 솔직한 말로 다닌다는 이유로 축복받아. And simply put, just by you, that by the sheer fact that you attend that kind of church, the answers will come. 여러분이 살인 강도를 도우면 도왔다는 이유로 저주받아요. If you happen to inadvertently help a murderer or a thief or a burglar, just by that fact alone, just by that association, you'll be cursed. 여러분은 사람 살리는 사람. 
위기 속에 사람 살린 사람에게 물한 그릇 줬다. 그것도 축복이 돼요. 그렇잖아요. But if you were just to give a glass of water to somebody who is helping others in need and inside of crisis, 하물며, even that can become a blessing. 2, 3, 7 나라 사람들이 우리 교회 와서 치유받아야 돼요. Then how much more so this? The 2, 3, 7 nations, the people of those nations must come to our church. 하나님의 것으로 바꿔줘야 돼요. And we must help them have the change, change all the things that they have into the things of God. Otherwise, it's never going to work. You need to help them to change the things inside of them into the things of God. Our church, no one knows about it. Some pastor every day is sent to the Americans. No one recognized her for it inside of our church, but this one deaconess, she went out and she evangelized to foreigners. No one told her to do so, but every single day, just like it came out in the, in the message, she would lead the Tarakbang meetings with them every day. And then on her way back after evangelizing, she happened to try to return home and she got into a car accident. Well, 별 뭐, 가진 사람도 아니니까. And nobody thought such of such a big ordeal or such a big deal because even in our church, she wasn't somebody who stood out. 그분의 메시지를 듣고 복음을 듣고 외국인이 바뀌는 거예요. But foreigners listened to her message and they began to change. 기적 같은 일이죠. It's a miracle. 완전 모슬림권의 지도자 집안인데 그리스도 얘기 듣고요 바뀌는. And he was, this foreigner was from a completely Islamic nation in a leading family, a prominent family living in that country. And he was completely transformed the message of Christ. He quit his job, went to seminary school, and he became a pastor. He's Reverend Salam. I spoke of him before as well. And Pastor Ronnie underneath him, we see that these people are faced with a threat of death, and none of them are shaken. The Muslims are not like that. They are being killed by the army. They are not like that. They are like that. They are not like that. The Muslims there in that community, they falsely accused him and imprisoned him, and yet he sent me a message of condolence. Mokhsanim, don't worry about it. We are here. I am here. But I am not like that. I am not like that. I am not like that. Comforting me, saying, Pastor, don't worry about us. We're fine. Though I'm in prison, I'm all right. In our country, we need Christ, and so I am all right. My country needs Christ, and so I am all right. And even during my entire lifetime, it's the very first time I've heard anybody who was in that kind of utter difficulty confessing those kinds of words. People, just because they're slightly offended, leave the church. There are even some people who change their religion and convert because they're a little bit peeved. I've seen all too many people like that. This person is saying, if you're dead, you're dead. But Reverend Salam, he's falsely accused, he's incarcerated in prison, and the government is telling him, if you say you're not going to believe in Jesus, we'll let you free. 목사님, 걱정하지 마세요. 제가 중요한 게 아닙니다. 우리나라에는 꼭 그리스도 있어야 됩니다. But instead, he comforted me, saying, Pastor, don't worry about anything. It's not me that's important. My country needs Jesus Christ. Absolutely, the works will take place upon that. He told me not to worry. What kind of church is needed? A church that completely needs healing. We need that kind of system. Remnants cannot go out into the world unprepared. They must have this transformation take place and then go out. 하나님의 것으로 보좌의 것으로. With what? They must be changed with the things of God, with the power of the throne. Those are the things that belong to the remnants in the first place. With that in hand, they must go out into the world. May you pray this prayer today. And those who are sick, don't worry about anything. Lay your hands on yourself. You can be sick. So really pray about that. 
세상적인 거, 틀린 거 하나님이 바꾸어 주옵소서. God may you completely change all the wrong things, all the worldly things. 정말 내 속에 성삼위 하나님의 영이 임하여 주옵소서. It's simple. May the spirit of triune God fill my spirit. 나에게 보좌의 축복이 임하여 주옵소서. May the blessing of the throne come upon me. 그래야만 내가 가정과 현장 많은 어려운 사람들 살릴 수 있습니다. Only then can I save my family, the field, and so many multitudes of people who are experiencing difficulties. 그 기도를 진짜 하는 겁니다. We have not prayed that prayer. 역사에 납니다. But if you pray that prayer, the works will arise. 전국에 있는 전 세계의 우리 성도님들 낙심하지 마시고 여러분 이 응답을 찾아내는 바꾸는 시간표가 되어야 돼요. All of our believers throughout the nation and the world do not fall into your own dismay. This must become the time schedule for you to discover this and transform yourself. Let us pray. 하나님 감사드립니다. God, we thank you. 나를 무너뜨리고 사람을 무너뜨리는 모든 틀린 것 바꾸는 시간이 되게 해 주옵소서. May this be a time in which we completely change all the wrong things that continue to overturn us and overturn the people of the world. 질병을 일으키는 모든 나쁜 것을 바꾸는 시간이 되게 해 주옵소서. May it be a time in which we change all the bad things that bring illness onto us. 하나님의 것으로 각인되는 시간이 되게 해 주옵소서. May it be a time for us to be imprinted with the things of God. 이 기도로 세계 살리는 정인 되게 해 주옵소서. And by this prayer, may we stand as witnesses who save the world. 예수 그리스도 이름으로 기도하옵나이다. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. 오늘 우리 주제 찬양 전에 특송이 있습니다. 우리 새로운 가정을 이룬 신혼 부부 강민구 신기쁨 가정 특송 있겠습니다. 박수로 환영해 주시기 바랍니다. 
잠깐 서 계시면 기도하겠습니다 살아계신 주님 감사합니다 정말 새로운 또 시대의 가정으로 하나님께서 허락해 주심을 감사합니다 정말 하나님의 살아계심과 하나님의 능력과 약속을 가진 믿음의 가정이 되게 하시며 정말 교회와 현장에서 언약을 따라 선두로 서는 모델의 가정이 되게 하시며 하나님이 주실 후대를 통하여서 백성 중에 더큰 가정의 축복으로 하나님이 역사하여 주시옵소서 남은 생의 이 가정에 가는 길을 통하여서 하나님의 언약이 이루되며 베세다 교회의 지위의 축복이 회복되게 하시며 2, 3, 7 지우 서밋의 축복을 허락하여 주시옵소서 예수 그리스도 이름으로 기도합니다 아멘 감사합니다. 우리 마지막 주제 찬양 드리겠습니다. 지금은 우리 주 예수 그리스도의 은혜와 하나님 아버지의 지극하신 사랑과 성령 하나님의 내주인도 역사 교통하심이 참된 믿음을 통하여 우리의 모든 것을 바꾸는 베세다 운동 교회 베세다 운동을 하는 교회로 결단하는 우리 모든 성도들과 가정과 학업과 직장과 우리 후대의 미래 위에 교회 위에 지금부터 영원토록 함께할지어다.